Hi, Jose. Hi, Miss. How are you doing? When I, I am. You're, what, I'm sorry? Ah, okay. How was your day? I think I'm um, a little boring. You had to stay home all day, right? Yeah, all day. But I thought that made you happy. Yeah, that, that made me happy, but some days I wanted to go out. But some of the noise is a, is a, a kind of relationship for love and hate. <laughs> I understand that. That thin line. Hi, Alan. Hi, good night. Sorry, it's good raining evening. here. Good No, no problem. It's, it's raining let here. Me see, let me see your hoodie, Alan. Uh, wait, wait, I, I will show you. It says El Salvador. Let me, let me, uh, let me ask. I saw it already. Got it. Okay. Hi, Tatiana. Welcome. That's Elizabeth. Okay. Hi. I'm ready. Hello. Welcome. Erica, we don't see you. I was looking for the for the headphones. All right, no, yeah, now I see you, Erica. Mm, okay. Um, Noel is connecting the audio. Hi, Noel. Okay, welcome everyone. We can start now. Ready for class? Yeah. Born ready. Okay. Well, let's begin. Let's see where we left off last night. We were here uh, talking about, we were discussing some questions, right? In the past, simple, that's the last thing we did. Did you finish the exercise, by the way? Yeah. You finished? Yes. Yeah, yes. And how was it? Difficult, yes. so so? So so. Yeah, it's a little complicated, uh, but yeah, the um, the key is to learn the structure. Okay, I don't know if we've watched this video. Simple past statements. Probably have. All right, let's do this together. Everybody, access the platform right now, please. Wait. Okay, let's let's access it so that we can make progress while in class. Okay, let's do the exercise. What's number one, Erika? Which is the correct use? He was born in Spain. He were born in Spain. He were in, born in Spain. He was born in Spain, number one. Yes, and the pronunciation of this is? He was born in Spain. He was born in Spain. In Spain. In Spain. In Spain. In Spain. You connect it. In Spain. Okay. In Spain. Yes. Very good. Number two, Jose. My parents. My parents were in France. Uh -huh. We're in France. Yes, that is the right one. Very good. Tatiana. Um. I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. I can hear children, guys. Let's put the microphone, okay? I'm going to call your name if I'd like you to participate because, yeah, I hear children. Okay, number four, Victor. Victor, you're on mute. Everybody's on mute. Don't forget. Three. Three. Number three. I was born. The first option. Okay. Is this right, guys? Nope. 
What is the right answer? I was. I was. I was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, where is for you, they, we, etc. Uh, no, well, where is for you, sure we, and they. <laughs> That's it. Okay, number four, Sandra. Yes. We can't hear you, Sandra. I don't know why. <sighs> No, we don't hear you. <laughs> You're not muted. Okay, Noel. My wife and I was in Mexico. Where? I think we have to review that quickly, guys. Okay, we're only going to use was with what subjects again? I. I. She. She. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and we're gonna use where with what subjects, guys? We, you, we, they, you, we, they. they, and you. Yeah. Okay, and if I say my wife and I, is that I? No, right? What subject is it? We. 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 Okay, we're gonna use uh, where. Where. My wife and I were in Mexico. Very good. Okay, next, Mauricio. You're on mute, Mauricio. Ah, uh, Sandra, is that you? You listen to me? Yes, now I can. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> no problem. The English quiz was a little difficult. Right, very good. Okay, let's submit it and see how we did. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, everything's good. Don't forget the subjects, okay? Let's see. We have to finish section one tonight or tomorrow. We're gonna watch this. Can somebody volunteer to read the objective? Me? Go ahead. Build English conversational skills with the with these lessons on past tense of questions. Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you'll be able where were you born in the city? Mm -hmm. Where 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 were you born? When were you born? And how old were you when you came to this country? By the end of the lessons, you'll be able to ask and answer you yes or no question with WH question using was and where. Okay. Very good. Uh, you know what we have to do, right? It's a long video, so please pay attention, take notes, and then we're gonna practice, okay? Let's watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the birth to be either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense 
of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be and I'm going to go ahead and color this in let's say uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in let's say red and the complement I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here, and then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be yeah, was. was. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc.? So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much are going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word, and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we're, let me write the same one there, where the verb to be. Oops. Where? And then this is going to follow the subject. Where were and you then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want. Guys, sorry, I'm going to make this pause because this is what I was telling you last night, right? Eso les decía que son casi idénticas. Así que no olviden eso. Look at this. And where is this thing? Okay, here. Uh, this was Peter born in China. Right? The verb be, subject, complement. Verb be, subject, complement. It's the same, right? Verb be, subject, complement. So the only difference is what? 
WH one. The yes, Look, the structures are the same. For B, for B, subject, subject, complement, complement, except WH. And that happens in the past, present, future, in everything. It's always the same, okay? Don't forget. Let's continue watching. Take notes, please. All right, go ahead. I want to look at him that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. All right. That's it. We're not going to discuss them because we already practice these questions in the first classes, I think. Okay. So, um, what I want you to do now is I'm going to send you a link to your WhatsApp, okay? And do you remember, I sent an image last night. Do you remember what the structure of WH questions is in the past? What is the structure? Or give me an example, and then we're going to break it down. WH, what? WH plus. Uh, plus verb. Verb. Or do we? Verb. No. Mm -mm. Mm. No. Right now we're gonna. Verb. Okay, hold on. <coughs> WH questions for all the verbs. Okay, not for the verb be. Did. Okay, hold on. So for the verb be, you have to use was and where. Okay, for where? all the other verbs, you have to use what auxiliary? Did. Did, exactly. So I would like this structure right now, please. What is it? WH plus verb plus comma. Mm -mm. Did. Plus did. Plus did plus uh -huh. object. Yes. Plus. The verb is the verb. last one, guys. Yeah. Yes, the verb in the base form. Okay, plus complement. For example, what did you do? Okay, that's an example. Okay, now what is the structure for the verb be? A WH question with the verb be in the past. WH plus verb. Bird, no, bird. not the verb. No. Ah, okay. Was and where? Yes. Okay. To be past. Yes. Yeah. Subject. Uh -huh. Plus subject. What else? And complement. Subject. Plus, plus complement. Plus complement. complement. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah, this is a structure. So this is the only thing you have to memorize and then I will give you an example. Where were you? Where were you last night? Where were you last night that you were not in class? Uh -huh. Okay, that's one. Yes, this is a structure. Here are some examples. So I'm gonna send you a link right now for you to practice this structure. Because this is, I think this is the most difficult for you, right? I noticed. So let me send you the link and we're gonna work in small groups. Let me send it to WhatsApp, okay. There you have it. So follow the structure. If you forget, check the structure, okay? Any questions? What did you, no. No, all right. No. Uh, okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's work on the exercises. Check what's up. Here we go. Room three. Accept the invitation. Where did you go to school? Where? Thank <laughs> you. 
Erica, did you get the invitation? The dynamic English corporate. I mean, oh. Miss, can you help us, please? Hello. Hello. Example, please. I, I sent you the link. Have you opened it? Okay. Check what's up. Let's work on the link. You can hear me? Simple. You can hear me? Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Okay, so look, I sent this to the WhatsApp group. This is the structure and this is the exercise. Uh -huh. Yes, those are the exercises. All right, let's do number one. But I don't have your link. Are you on the WhatsApp group? Uh, I don't miss the, the answer is is in no, English. For example, ah, right. donde? Mm -hmm. Hello. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, um, where? Hay que seguir where, la estructura y solo ir rellenando. Go to school. Ajá. ¿Cómo es? How did you say it is? Where? Where did you go to school? Yes, exactly. That is the answer. Very good. Can you share screen, please, somebody? Alguno de ustedes podría compartir pantalla. Mauricio no está en el grupo de WhatsApp, entonces. No, I, I have, I have the, I am, I'm, uh, I'm checking, I'm, but I have to, to, to enter at the group. Ah, okay. Let me, uh, let me, uh, uh, a minute. Sure. Oscar, can you share your screen, maybe? Or Anna? That would um, be. Oh, right now, I see. Uh, I was uh, on the phone. Um, oh, okay. I, I try and uh, in the laptop. Okay. Wait. No, no problem. Okay, let's read it. So, what is number one? Oscar, give the answers. Then Mauricio number two, Anna number three, and do it on the phone. Okay. Let's do it together. Then. I you couldn't enter. Sure. Am I? Am I? Iniciar way. I don't know what is my contraseña. Oh. No se puede okay. iniciar sesión. Okay. And then, then. Ah, it's one, two, three, four, Hello. five, eh? Yes. You hear me? No, yeah. That's not on the platform, though. Hold on. Okay, Oscar, what is the answer? The first. Hello, the first. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yes, very good. Thank you. Where, where did you go? Can one of you share screen? Es que lo mandó, eh, lo mandó el WhatsApp, entonces. Ah, no lo puedo. también acá, espera. Eh, yo, lo, yo lo estoy viendo acá. On the computer. Yes. Okay, can you share your screen? No, you can't. Sure. <laughs> okay, I sent that here, Noel, if you want to share. So you can also. <laughs> All right, okay. uh, continue. What, what number are you working on? 16. Number 16. 16, really? Wow. What did... I do. Number 11. 
18. Sorry. How did she get? Get, yes. Get. And what did he do? Is it nighting? Nighting. Finish. Finish. He do. Yes. Okay. No califica, ¿verdad? Solo dice si está bueno o no. No. Uh -huh, it tells you if it's right or wrong. Okay. Finish. Finish? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that was so fast. Okay, and how many did you get? How many correct ones? Uh, uh, all, the, all is correct. All. All is correct. Everything. Okay. That is awesome. Okay. Thank All right, you. let's go back then. We close rooms. Okay, let's go. Okay. Welcome back. How was the exercise? Easy? I wasn't able to make it. Okay, no, really? what happened? not really at all. Because I, I, I don't have my computer in my work and I have to work in the phone, at the phone. Ah. And it, I think it's very difficult. On the phone. No, but some yeah. people have classes on the phone and they, you can use yeah, you, the difficult. exercise on the phone. <laughs> you need to try, you, you will feel easy to search. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, that. Sorry, uh, yo no sé en el juego. <laughs> okay, uh, we were discussing at the group that uh, we 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 want to ask when how identify the that we we will use. The did, and we will use and was and where. Mm -hmm. Okay. How how how, how can, do I identify that? How can it identify that? Uh huh. Thank do you? Everybody has the same confusion. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I don't. I I can't explain this because it's only. Okay. I, I will try, but I think the best thing is to make a parenthesis here but all right look at this so we have the verb be right what is the meaning of the verb be guys in spanish what's the meaning of it ser, 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 ser. yeah this is the first thing you learn when you learn english right ser is that okay cuantos verbos existen how many verbs are there now i think we have thousands of verbs okay okay yeah. So this is only one verb, and the past of this verb is was and where, right? Mm -hmm. What is was and where in Spanish? Estaba o estuve. Estaba, no, son un montón. Okay, estaba, estuve, estuviste, para vos. Estuvieron. Estuvieron. <laughs> Estuvieron. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, let's do it. Eh, fueron, fueron, era, okay, what else? Eran, ah. eran, okay, what else? Estamos jugando era, serie era. estar. Éramos, éramos. Ajá, very good. Nunca había hecho esto, qué raro es. Fuimos, <laughs> fuimos, yes, fuimos, 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 okay. fui, fui. fuimos, felices. fuimos muy felices. Ah, that's what I thought. Exactly. Éramos <laughs> felices y no lo sabíamos. Éramos. <laughs> No, no, no había cuarentena, okay. Yo éramos, los escucho como que son juegos de video. Ya está, éramos. Ya está, éramos. Cuando éramos solteros. <laughs> We were happy. We were happy. Ese es un ejemplo. Éramos felices cuando éramos solteros. Okay. So you say, <laughs> we, we were happy when we were single. Dios mío. Hey. <laughs> 
Cruza la lengua. Raise, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're single. Oh my, really? Nobody yeah. here is single? Wow. Okay, buen ejemplo entonces. <risa> Pero éramos felices. Eso sí no nos cabe duda. Wow. Cuánto dolor escucho. Ok. Ok, éramos. Eh, ¿Qué más? Fui, ya está fui. No, fui. No, fui. Ok, todo lo que se les ocurra en pasado del verbo ser estar. Ok. Ahí van a usar was and where. Para todos los otros Pero, verbos existe Mastercard. No, para todos los demás verbos existe this. Existe. This. Ah, okay. ah, ah. O sea que todos esos en español, en oh. inglés únicamente es was, where o did. Todos esos no. que ocupamos en español. No. Y el did no. no lo podemos usar con el was y el where. No se puede, no. Ajá, okay. pero. Ah, that's igual, it. Igual estaba, no puedo ser con era, ¿verdad? Pero para todo lo que veamos en pasado, nosotros ah, en español usamos ese montón. Otro en verbo. inglés solo usamos was, where, o did. Como auxiliar. Was and where para el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Así que... Todo tiene sentido ahora. Ok, thank you. <risa> es que vale la pena decir esto en español porque sí, si no, toda la vida complicada, así por el resto de la vida. Ok, thanks. Ok, so that is for all the other verbs, exactly. We were happy okay, when we were sick. <laughs> nosotros, nosotros probamos las dos respuestas utilizando did y utilizando was you were. No, that is, for, that is for all the other verbs. Pero me todas see. me salían malas de todas maneras, no sé por qué. <laughs> oh, a mí sí me salían buenas. Con did pues sí, sí me salían buenas. A mí solo la primera me salía buena y ahí le puse did cuando era did y no me salían buenas. <laughs> Había una que nosotros... Eh, eh, le pusimos el did correctamente, pero, o sea, no salió mala porque le poníamos lo que tenía al final, so much. Si le quitábamos so ah. much, salió buena, no sé por qué. Ah, está acá. Ah, ok. What number? Okay. What number is it? Ah, so much, ok. Why? Oh, oh. What did he eat? What did he eat? He eat so much. ¿Por, por, qué, ¿Por qué no le pusimos, por qué so much no va? Porque solo va a conjugar el it y he. Eso es todo. Esto, esto está fuera y esto está fuera. Pero le puse arriba tu Solo school, hay que conjugar no, lo que está en paréntesis. Ya. Yeah. Okay, what did they do? Uh, only. Uh, okay. Ok, in this thank example, you, en este ejemplo van a poder practicar ambos. Ok, did uh, y where. Ok. Pero solo hay, solo hay, acá hay unos pocos con where, 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 where. Ahora ya saben la diferencia, right? Now you know the difference, don't you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Bueno. <gasps> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Pero espérense, les tengo que dar una mala noticia. <laughs> no. Que este was y where es un auxiliar. Lo vamos a ver después. Pero si yo digo, yo, ok. Nunca más en español, chicos, solo hoy. Yo estaba caminando. ¿Cómo creen que se dice esto? I was walking. I was walking. Ok, ahí sí, pero esto es otro tiempo. Y siempre significa este was, ¿qué significa? Yo estaba. estaba. Yo estaba. Ajá, entonces. Sabes tú. Entonces siempre aplica, ¿no? Sí. Porque es un auxiliar. No lo, no lo vayan a confundir con el auxiliar. Okay, so right now let's just practice was and did. And here are the questions. I sent the questions to the WhatsApp group for you to discuss. Okay. Bueno, y otra cosa. Este did, el was y el where, solo se van a usar para negativo, negative, y para preguntas. Questions. Mm -mm, no. Was y where para todo. Okay. Y did para negativo y pregunta. Para el afirmativo, ¿cuál vamos a usar? Para el afirmativo vamos a usar ed o el verbo irregular. Didn't. No, o sea, la lista que se deben aprender y los ed es solo para hacer la afirmación. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. Para negativo y pregunta usamos el auxiliar. 
All right. That's it. Okay. Let's practice. Ready? Okay. Okay. We're going to make groups with <laughs> different people. So, hold on. Let me make bigger groups. Groups of three. Let's practice speaking. Discuss as many questions as you can. Accept the invitation, please. No. Hi. Hello. Hello. And yesterday I um I was driving a horrible traffic. That's that's all. All right. I saw that the traffic was so complicated for for some Miri on the street, right? Yes. What about you, Mauricio? What did you do yesterday? Lo ven, chicos. Eh, sí. Sí. Teacher, no le escuchamos. We don't hear you. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm listening to you. <laughs> um, and, and now? Um, Sandra Let's the questions. <laughs> Let's speak. Speak, what speak. What did you... What else? And... Uh, and work in the computer all the afternoon. Okay. Hello, you listen to me? Oh, no, see. Sí. To bed last night at 10.30? 10 10.30. 30. 10 30. 30. Okay, the next one. I was looking. For your part, for my car, so I, I think that I I lost my time. Okay. Yesterday, um, in the first I woke up early, and then I day I I took uh. And how do you say empezar? Start. I started with ED. Ah, okay. I started, uh, did you get up this morning? I did get up. No, el auxiliar solo para negativo y pregunta. And todos los otros, para afirmativo, los verbos irregulares o el ED. I got up. Yes, exactly. At, uh, I had to run. I I run. I try every day to run uh, early. Yeah, I think that is, is a more one hour for sleep. <laughs> ah, great. Yes. That's good. Okay. So. Next. The next question, the next question. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Um, I ate um, uh, bread with beans and egg. Only one. Yummy. Only one. Yeah. Hey. Hi. I was uh, take a breakfast and... No, no, no. Antonio, usted acaba de decir, yo fui... Oh, sorry, 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 I... <laughs> what is the past of the verb? Okay, no, you don't say take breakfast, you say eat <laughs> breakfast or have breakfast. What is the past? Have is uh... What is the past of have? Uh, 
have, have, no, sí, es cierto. Have, have, yes, have. I, I have I breakfast. I have a breakfast at seven thirty p.m. in the morning. A.m. <laughs> a.m. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Next questions. And what about you, Erica? What did you eat? I had a I had a breakfast at let me see nine thirty a.m. and I ate at beans, bread, winnies, mm -hmm. and cream. What's winnies? <laughs> Salchicha. <laughs> <laughs> No, those are called hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Chorizo. Dogs. Chorizo. Chorizo. No, that's sausage. <laughs> hey, where are you? It's up here. Where did you go? <laughs> she ran away. She yeah. ran away. No, so, hot dog. The name, the name is hot dog. And if you want to be specific, you say a hot dog in a bun. In a bun. Oh, okay. El hot dog es la salchicha. Uh -huh. Y en Estados Unidos dicen salchicha en pan. O sea, hot dog in a pan. Hot dog. Yeah. No, really? In a pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a pan. In a pan. In a pan. B-U-N. Ah, B in a pan. Ah, oh, okay. In a pan. And you can say, can you give me a hot dog without <laughs> the bun? Ah, the bun. Okay, um, I, I understand. For <laughs> me... On paper, for my career or for my work, that I, I think that that will be uh, functional for for do something. All right. And what about you, Mauricio? Repeat the the, the question, please. Did you read a book or a magazine last week? If no, why not? Um, well, I, I, yes, I, I, I was, uh, I was reading, I was reading a book, the, uh, I don't know, it's, it's about selling, yes. It's five o'clock. It's, it's a little gray, because you have to day off. <laughs> That's the only thing I like. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Only basic. I did. You married this week? Yes, this week I did a stationary bike. Okay. Only home two times. Benefits for home office. Yes. <laughs> and they retire, I guess. Mm. A little no. bit. <laughs> Get with uh, many problems. I think that is for the rain. A uh, night ten. Night ten. Night ten. Night ten. Okay. Where are you late? Five. Um, I don't know. What's Why are you late? Why? Yeah. Maybe it's Saturday. Room plus. The room, uh -huh, okay. 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 Um, okay. Elizabeth, did you watch TV yesterday? Um, no. No, I don't watch TV yesterday because... I I don't or no, I didn't. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Maria, you're a teacher, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't watch TV yesterday because I I I was in the English class. Yay, you combined it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you can do it. Okay. Thank you, Raul. Uh, yes, I, I, I did. 
I did watch TV. Mm -mm. Para el afirmativo tiene que usar... Eh, I was. No, eso es cero, estar. Mm -hmm. You need the What? verb, the, the past of the verb watch. So you, uh, it's either ed or irregular. It's not necessary did. No, you cannot, you shouldn't use did in the affirmative. You need to memorize the list or use ed if it's regular. Okay. So what is the past of the verb watch, guys? Watch it. Ah, with ed, watch. the pronunciation is watched. Like watched. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I watched TV. Exactly. I watch, I watch uh, Netflix. Señor de los cielos. <laughs> Preso número uno está buenísimo. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Um, did you do homework yesterday? Elizabeth? No. No, I didn't. I did. Mm -hmm. I went to work. But when we were when we are in the last hour I feel <laughs> that I want to be in my house. No. I I, I like I like my job. Uh, really um, I have to fifteen years old uh, working. In this place. You, Mr. Arriola. Working. Uh, I have worked. I have worked for in that company for 15 years. years. Yes. I have worked in that company for 15 years. Say it. Okay. I have you worked know, in this company 15 years. For 15 years. For 15 years. Perfect. Very good. Okay. And. In years is so much time. Yes. And how do you say acostumbrar? Me acostumbré. I got a costume too. I, 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 I got a costume. A costume too? Yes, I got a costume. To my job. To, to my job. Okay, I got a costume to my job. Very good. <laughs> Que traba lenguas. I know. <laughs> and, and I love it. Really, I love it. Good, good, good. That's a good thing that you like to do it. When you happy yesterday? Um, yes, I am. Yes, I was happy. Why? Osmin is always happy. <laughs> right? Why? Why? And Sandra uh, too. Because yesterday Sandra I too. worked to middle day. Ah, uh, till noon. Um, no trabajaste todo el día? No, hasta mediodía. Uh, until noon. At noon. Mm -hmm. Until noon, yes, very good. Okay. Sandra, were you busy yesterday? If yes, why? If no, why not? Yes, I was because I got started my work every day from 8 a.m. A good, a good test. Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. I, I think that is one of the best or the best beer for to the traveler. Uh huh. Means we are yeah. we, we are talking about about for the last question the, where you were last weekend and Mauricio and Mauricio told me that that uh, he last weekend he uh he take or he drawn two beer. Okay, very good. And what is the best beer in El Salvador you're saying? Regia. Uh, regia. For, for La Regia. For me, it's La Regia or Regia or Pilsener. 
I don't like beer, so I don't know. But yeah, Pale Center is very famous. Yeah, that's and all I can you say. Do? What do you What do you take? What do you, what do do I drink? Drink? What do you drink? What do you drink? Uh -huh. I do you like, like to drink? Um, for example, mojitos or white wine. Oh yeah, the wine. No, the wine is for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> for Friday. For Friday. For Friday yes. Okay. Uh, Uh, for Friday and beers for Saturday. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's to to uh, eliminate the stress. Okay, good. yes, very good. Or to get rid of stress. Okay, uh, we have to go back. You finished all the questions. Wow, nobody finished except you. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Alrighty. Did you talk a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so something very important in the affirmative form, you have to use irregular verbs, right? So you need to memorize them. Let me ask you some of them. See if you know them. First of all, do you have questions? Any questions before we finish? No. No? Okay. Well, look, uh, here are some of them. I'm going to give you, I need you to start memorizing this during the weekend. Don't forget we have classes tomorrow. Okay. It's an exceptional date because we don't usually have classes on Friday, but tomorrow we do have classes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the pronunciation of this for you to practice it during the weekend. Okay. Uh, whatever we can do in four minutes. So B, you know, wasn't where. Okay. We're tired of it already. So next, repeat after me, everyone. Say begin, begun, begun. Begin, begun, begun. Break, break, broke, broken. Break, 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 broke, 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 broke. Bring, brought, brought. Broken. Bring, bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. Burn, burn. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Buy, 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 No, it's not boat. Boat is boat. bote, no, not boat, bot, 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 that's better, can, could, be able to, can, could, be able to, able to, able to, catch, caught, caught, catch, caught, caught, no, oh, caught, caught, Cut. No, listen. Uh, cut. Uh, cut. 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 Yes. Cut. It's only one syllable. It's not ow, oh, oh, no. Uh, cut. 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 Choose, chose, cut. chosen. Cut. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Come, came, 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 came. Cost, cost, cost. Cost, cost, cost. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. cut. Hey, that's one tip, guys. Start memorizing the ones that are identical. You can start memorizing those, right? Cut, cut, cut. Cut, uh, cut, cut. Cost, cost, cost. So memorize the ones that are identical first, okay? Uh, do the down. Do this dumb. Dream, dreamt, dreamt. Dream, dreamt, dreamt. Drink, drank, drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. drunk. Drive, drove, driven. Drive, drove, driven. driven. Eat, ate, eaten, or eaten. Eat, ate, eaten, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fell, fallen. Feel, felt, felt. 
Feel, feel felt, felt, felt. felt. Fight, fought, fought. Fight, fight, fight or fought. fought. No, it's not O, oh, it's O. Oh, fought. 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 Fly, flew, flown. Fly, Fly flew, flown. flown. Forget, no. forgot, forgotten. Forget, forgot, 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 Give, gave, given. Give, give, gave, 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 have, 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 have. Hear, heard, heard. Hear, hear, heard, heard. heard, heard. heard, heard. No, no, known. No, 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 no. Yes. One more. Learn, learnt, learnt. Learn, learnt, learnt. Learn. Leave, left, left. Leave, left, left, left. Okay. I'm going to send you a video to try to memorize 24 verbs, I think they are. Okay, but that is one tip. First, classify it, guys, so that you can memorize them, okay? So okay. first, memorize the ones that are identical, all right? If this is present, past, and past participle, but I recommend you memorize all of them right now, not later, Okay. The ones that are identical, and then I will give you some tips on how to memorize 24, 25 verbs, I think, but I will send you a video, okay, right now, okay. after class. So, please watch it and try to memorize those verbs during the weekend, all right? All right. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good night. 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 Good